talk nicely to them and try and get them to come closer. to enough materials like spray paint to uh, really be working large and working consistently uh, in the same kind of genre. Before that, I was doing a lot of oil paints because I was an art school and that's what I thought you were supposed to do. So I switched recently to acrylics and spray paint. And uh, so last year I was just making, you know, these large cartoon figures and then kind of like outlining them and calling that done. And the thing is that I can make those really fast, like in a couple of hours, I can make something you know, massive like that. And so I've transitioned into uh, doing that and then kind of covering it with some parent layer and then doing more um, and trying to ground each layer in some art historical uh, background or idea. And so I'll, I look for paintings that I like, or sketches that I like, etchings that I like, statues that I like, and I adapt those into my own style, paint that, usually cover it with like a transparent layer of just house paint, and then do it again, and again and again, until I'm kind of satisfied with the piece that I made. And so I don't really make any money at all unless I have a painting to sell or I get a mural commission. And so I don't really have like a choice at this point. Um, I always like drew every day, but now I have to like kind of come up with a product pretty consistently. I just know that at some point during the day I'm gonna have to sit down and work on this product and figure out who's gonna buy it. It's not like going to work because it's what I love to do and also I make less money. But it's like, uh, I don't know, it's just like a requirement. It's like, like being in the movie or just like, you have to do it eventually. <laughs> Things in my head that I constantly want to produce, and so I've just always done that. 
I'm never really satisfied with what I produce, both conceptually and visually, and so I always want to change it. And also, my ideas are always changing. So, to this point where I've kind of married those two things, and I'm sure that you know, if you talk to me in another year, the stuff will be completely different. Uh,